I'm at the edge of a cliff and what you can see here is a pretty deep canyon. And no matter how much effort that I would expend, I could train for my entire life, I could uh, do everything in terms of human development possible and I would not be able to jump across this canyon. And in fact, I would die trying and it wouldn't end very well. Uh, similarly, when we try to understand what it means to say yes to God, yes to Jesus, we have to understand that there is a chasm that separates us from God that is caused by sin. Our baptism, of course, makes us whole, but then every time we sin after that, the chasm reemerges, the separation in particular with mortal sin. And in general, we wouldn't even have the grace of baptism were it not for Jesus and for his sacrifice to reconcile us to God. So no matter which way you slice it, you can't get across the canyon on your own ability, on your own human will, on your own human power. Jesus in Matthew chapter 7 said the road is narrow and difficult and very few are on the road. He's talking about the road to heaven and the road to hell is very wide and easy. Most people don't ever even consider what would it take to cross the canyon? What would it take to set me free from my sin? And the answer to what it takes is Jesus Christ. The answer is trusting in him and his church to provide a bridge that will take you across the canyon safely. The bridge is into relationship with God, into the kingdom of God. This is why Jesus gave his life. This is why we need to say yes to God, to trust in him, to get us across the great chasm of sin into redemption and relationship, wholeness, peace, and abundance of life in God. Hey friends, if you like this video, please help us to be a blessing to others. Subscribe to our channel, spiritualdirection.com. Share this video. Help us get the word out. God bless.